Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Aware Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding trips and uses. The difficulty level of this question is hard, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads We are given a table called trips with six different columns ID, client ID, driver ID, city ID, status, and request at. IT is the primary key for this table. Table holds all taxi trips. Each trip has a unique ID, while client ID and driver ID are foreign keys to the user's id at the user's table status is an enum category which can take values completed cancelled by driver or cancelled by client we are also given a second table called users with three different columns users id band and role users id being the primary key the table holds all users each user has a unique users id and the role can take values client driver or partner band is an enum category of type yes or no okay the cancellation rate is computed by dividing the number of cancelled by client or driver request with unbanned users by the total number of requests with unbanned users on that day. We are asked to write a solution to find the cancellation rate of request with unbanned users. So both client and driver must not be banned each day between 1st of October 2013 and 3rd of October 2013. Round the cancellation rate to two decimal points. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have certain trips and then we also have certain users so if we look at it so user id2 is the only user that is banned which is a client so trips like this are not valid right so client id2 because the question says that client and driver both should be not banned so trips like this are not valid for us so if we calculate on let's say on 1st of october 2013 so we have one completed uh then second of com second completed third completed right but out of this three completed one is cancelled so one divided by three is 33 percent and similarly we can do for other days and that is what we have in our output so to solve this question what we can do is we can go two routes either you can perform couple of joints to do this or you can go the common table expression route i would ask you to you know go through the common table expression route and see what the solution looks like but let me do this using joins because that would be like four or five lines i think and we would be able to do that so what we need to do is from this table called trips let's alias this as t the users table so left join users alias as u1 and then on how are we going to join so firstly we are trying to find the status band status of the clients and then we will find for the driver id as well so let us join t dot client id is equal to u1 dot users id and then we also need for the driver id as well right so what we can do is we can go ahead and do left to join the users table again as u2 on t dot driver id is equal to u2 dot users id okay let me just drag it to the left so now once we have this then why are we basically joining on the users table to get the status of the client or the driver whether they are banned or not so this is the only column that we are interested in so let us keep all the columns from the trips part and then u1 dot band and u2 dot band let us go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at this right so our output looks something like this let me just drag it to the left so now what we have is we have the trips and then band so this column is for the client id status and the this one is for the driver id status obviously the valid trips are where u1 dot band is equal to no and u2 dot band equal to no so let's keep only those rows so what we are doing is keep only those rows where u1 dot band is equal to no and u2 dot band is equal to no as well let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so if we look at this so now we have only those rows where both of them are banned that is client as well as the driver and we also need to make another filter because the question says we only need to you know take the drips between 1st of october 2013 and 3rd of october 2013 so let's do that as well so let me just include another where clause or basically another section to the where clause so and your request at right so this is coming from the trips table so t dot request 
एट इज बिटवीन 2013 अक्टूबर फर्स्ट एंड 2013 अक्टूबर third let me go ahead and run this again okay so now we have the data that we want now what we want is for every particular day what's the cancellation rate so how can we get for every particular day so group by t dot request at and in the output we want t dot request at and then we need to calculate the cancellation so firstly we need to find out how many of them were cancelled on that particular day so case when your t dot status is like so now cancellations can be by client or by driver right so t dot status like so basically if it is something like starts with cancel and then anything like by client or by driver does not matter then you basically return one else you return zero and since you started a case and statement you end it and if you sum this it is going to give you the number of cancellations on that particular day and how do you get the cancellation rate divide by the count star that is all the bookings that were there so and you need to also round this to two decimal places right round to two decimal places and finally alias this as cancellation rate okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at it okay everything looks good only thing that is you know remaining is we also need to alias this column t dot request at if we look at our output this should be aliased as day so let me go ahead and do that so as day let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to surpass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so yes even though this says hard the thing that we need to keep in mind is firstly what we did in this question is we made sure that we get the status of the clients as well as the drivers so we performed a couple of joins on the trips so that we can get that status once we had that then we kept only those rows where both of them were not banned and the request was between 1st of october and 3rd of october 2013 once we had that we wanted to get the cancellation rates of each of the dates between these dates so we grouped by the request at and then we calculated the total number of cancellations divided by the total number of bookings on that particular day rounded to two decimal places and alias this whatever was required in our output so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better or more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video